Hey everybody, it's Chad with nobody else's auto. Yep, we're kind of out in the middle of nowhere again. Seen a bunch of trees. Obviously, I'm standing in front of an old building. You guys know what that means. There's probably something cool in here that we're getting ready to dig out. And you're right. That's exactly what we're here doing. Getting ready to pull another one out that's been tucked back in the corner of this old building for probably 10 or 15 years. So pretty cool. Let's go inside and take a quick look at it. Not exactly as I found it because it's just about ready to come out. They've already got everything off the top of it and got it moved away from the wall so we can get this thing rolled out and load it. So it's not exactly as found, but it's pretty close. It's just, uh, just as it's getting ready to come out of the building. So let's go check it out. Here she is, 1967 International Travel All. Been tucked back here in this corner for a really long time. Like I said, we can't see a lot of it here. It's still covered in a ton of dust. If we look across the roof, you can see the layers of dust on this thing. Looks like it was last tagged in about 1980. So when we get this thing back to the yard, we'll take a better look at it. But wanted to show you exactly where she came from. Been tucked back in this corner for a long, long time. It does have some rust in the rockers and some rust in the corners, things like that. We'll kind of see if we can kind of get a little bit of pit shot of the nose up here. Like I said, she's still wedged in here a little tight. But it is intact. It does have drivetrain in it. it. Has these cool old international clearance lights across the top of it. Original hubcaps even. So pretty much intact. Still has the 1100 badge on the side of it. Like I said, we can't see much. Still kind of dark in here. The door open helps a little bit. But uh, she's been in here for quite a while. We're going to pull her out today. We'll get her back to the yard. We'll be able to give you a much better look at, uh, at what we've got here. Still kind of wedged into the front corner right up here even. But there she is. Still almost in the corner where we found her. Like I said, she was tucked up against the wall. We've got her ready to come out now. Let's get this thing pulled out of here, get her loaded up, get her hauled back to the yard so we can take a better look at her. Hey everybody, Chad nobody else's auto. Got a super cool truck to look at tonight. Never owned one of these before, don't know much about them, so it's kind of a learning experience for me as well. Super cool international travel all. I think this is mid to late 60s, 66, 67 era, something like that. Complete intact truck, only missing a few small little things here and there. Been inside for the last 10 to 15 years. I found this tucked away in the corner of an old building. Pretty decent shape. It's got some rust in it, but for the most part intact and a super cool old truck. So let's take a look at it. Obviously, we see the nose is pretty much intact. We're missing one park light lens, but I think that's inside the truck. Grills intact, headlights, even got the super cool big IH right there in the middle of the hood. So while we're here, let's take a peek under here. And pretty much your basic international, inline six, nothing exotic, no power options. Still got the jack in it. That's kind of odd to still have the jack in it and the original mounts. But uh, basically pretty much an untouched original. Even still says IH on the radiator. So pretty neat to find one of these that's literally unmolested. Like I said, I found this tucked away in the corner of a building. It had been there for a long time, and that's exactly how it was parked and put away. We'll work away around this side of the old International. Now this truck does have some rust in it like we talked. It's not completely rotted away, but it's got a lot of little spots here and there. It's got a little spot in the cowl. It's got a little bit in the fenders. And it's got a little bit in the quarters and things like that. But, you know, that's all to be expected. This thing is... You know, over 50 years old now, but finding one intact is so cool. Check out the clearance lights. I think those are even factory. I've seen those on other internationals of this era before. So, in fact, they say international right down in them if we look close in here. So it's got the factory clearance lights. It's also got the factory mirrors. If we look on it, it's got the IH on the mirror. Needs glass put in them, but hey, they're here. That's the important part. That's what you don't always see all the time is finding something like this that's intact. Inside this old truck, we'll take a look inside the, at the dash in the front of it and see what we've got going on in here. Because there again, it's pretty much intact. 
dash is all in it. Literally, the only thing I see missing is the horn button. All the gauges are there, the switches are there, most of the knobs are there. And one thing that is kind of interesting about this truck that I think may kind of hold us a little bit of a secret to its past, it's kind of an orangish color now, but if we look here in the door jam, it looks pretty much like school bus yellow. I'm wondering if this thing wasn't originally ordered by a school district, you know, and used as some sort of a bus, or maybe it was an activities bus type thing. You know, this was kind of the SUV of the day back in the 60s, so I'm thinking that this probably was used as a school district vehicle at some point. Inside back here, big open area. There's the other original wheel and hubcap still for this thing. Had a lot of space in these things. It definitely could have been used for a lot of different things as a school district vehicle if that's what it was. Like I said, with that color, I'm assuming that's pretty much what it had to be. Still got the big travel all down the side of it. We come around the back. Missing the rear door handle, but other than that, the taillights are here, the big international badge is here, rear bumper, even a big old monster trailer hitch on this thing. Come around over to this side, kind of more of the same. You know, the glass is there. We see some rust in the quarters. We see some rust in the rockers. But there again, this thing's over 50 years old. It's going to need some patching. But structurally looks pretty good. It is there. That's what's important. So there again, finding something intact, really difficult anymore. Like I said, this thing's been inside for, store, for years in storage. You've just seen that a little bit ago, exactly where we found this thing. Well, here it is now out in the sunlight. Even got a little bit of rain on it. It got a quick bath last night. So give us a little bit better idea on condition. So like I said, you've seen it where I found it before we pull it out. Now you got a little better look at it. Super cool truck. Lots of potential for this one, I think, especially for as hard as these things are getting to find. So neat old truck. I hope you enjoy checking it out. If you've got questions about this truck or anything else we've got here with 1500, over 1,500 cars and trucks on the ground right now, give me a call, 620-786-4428, having a short conversation about your project or what you're looking for for a project, year, make, model, body style. That's all information that I need to know if I have, may have something here that I might be able to help you out with. If you like this old international, you like these old cars and trucks you see behind me, be sure to check out the channel, Nobody Show. Click that subscribe button, definitely click that notifications button. All we do here, old cars, old trucks, memorabilia, gas and oil, all kinds of cool stuff like that. That's all I know, so that's what we do. That's what we enjoy and that's what we love. Hope you enjoyed the International. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. We'll see you soon on the next episode.